This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at one o'clock. This is Anthony Birchley. The RMT union has said that rail strikes will go ahead in England, Scotland and Wales next week after talks failed to reach a solution. Thousands of workers will walk out on three days in the dispute about pay, jobs and conditions. The network is expected to be largely crippled. Anna Jane Hunter is an industry analyst and a former network rail manager. She's still hopeful the row can be settled. The two sides are just really far apart on some of the numbers here. So since the talks began, inflation's continued to rise, the cost of living is biting, and, and some of the numbers involved just they're just not there yet in terms of the two parties meeting. There's lots to play with in terms of the, the guts of the negotiations. So you would hope that in there, hopefully there can be a, a, a compromise to be found. The Refugee Council, which works with people seeking asylum, has condemned a new scheme in which some people arriving in the UK in small boats will be electronically tagged. Ministers say the pilot will help to process claims more effectively and monitor how many people abscond. Boris Johnson defended taking tough action. When people come here illegally, uh, when they break the law, uh, it's important that we make that distinction. That's what we're doing with our uh, Rwanda policy. That's what we're doing uh, with uh, making sure that asylum seekers can't just vanish vanish into into the rest of the country. There's been intense fighting in the Donbass area of eastern Ukraine. The regional governor of Luhansk said there were street battles in Severodonetsk, which Russian troops largely occupy. Our correspondent Nick Beek is following developments from the capital, Kiev. Some assessment this morning from the British Ministry of Defence talking about the difficulties around the city of Severodonetsk, where the fighting is really, really intense. Another city nearby, Lusychansk, they think that shelling is increasing there. Civilians are being targeted. Also, we hear about these supposedly safe routes out of the city. That's in particular when it comes to Severodonetsk. We haven't really heard of any families being able to be moved out. Dozens of staff at an ambulance trust in England say their height or body shape mean they can't drive new vehicles. Aging Mercedes vans are being replaced by converted Fiat's in the east of England, but assessors found that 60% of staff members were unable to drive them. Complaints included taller workers not fitting in the cabs and drivers wearing work boots finding the pedals too close together. Golf and Rory McIlroy has said he's excited to be in contention at the US Open after the first two rounds at Brookline. The Northern Northern Irishman hasn't won a major since 2014, but is in a share of third place at the halfway point of the tournament, one shot behind the leaders. Quick look at the weather and it'll be cloudy for most of England and Wales this afternoon with rain in central areas, brighter in the south. Though it won't be as hot as yesterday and there'll be a mixture of sunshine and showers in the north. That's the latest BBC News at approaching three minutes past one. Greetings, Pop Pickers. Saturday is our day for Pick of the Pops on BBC Radio 2. In the first hour, it's for Top 20 from this date in 1979. Then we hear the hits from the 18th of June, 1990. If it's 79, there must be Squeeze, ELO, and Blondie. Then there's Roxy Music, Sister Sledge, and Jerry Rafferty. We are family. Our friends, Electric. Dance away. Ain't no stopping us now. Up the junction, Boogie Wonderland. We begin in 79, number 35, Thin Lizzy, do anything you want to. 